Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today, we're gonna unbox a wig from Lily Hair. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. But we're gonna unbox today a wig from Lily Hair. So Lily Hair, mainly does human hair wigs, but they have come out with a line of human hair and synthetic blend. I've been very excited to try this because this is a blend of human hair and synthetic. So let me look this wig up. Let me look up the specs to this wig on the website and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This is Ami and Ami is a mid-tone wig. She is number H4 slash eight. Um, she has a PU top cap. Here is her picture on the website. There's the side and there's the back. So let me get her out of the box and we'll just see what's in here. Let's see, let's see what all they've put in this box. So let me see if I can get this open. And I love the way they send swag. And Lily hair, oh cool, a little brush. I'm excited to get this. Lily Hair always packages their stuff very, very well. It makes you feel special when you get it to open it up. But the wig is here in this bag. So let's open this up and take a look at her because that's after all while we're here today. So here she is. Now, let's get her out. And she does have this little hairnet, which y'all know how I feel about that thing. They stick to me. Well, that one didn't, thank the Lord. Okay, so let's look. The hair at first feel feels really soft. This feels pretty similar to the other Lily Hair wigs that I have. Really does. Um, she feels nice. She's a little bit of a. What about what about feeling in here? Oh. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I was like, I feel something. I couldn't figure out what it was. Look at that, all the way across the top. And this little thing that grips it down to your head. I like that. The ear tabs are bendable, which I like that. She has a bit of an extended nape, not a, not a great deal because she's a pixie. And she has the little adjustable straps. Now these are a hook style strap, see that? I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that down because I know this cap is going to be too big. The cap is a closed cap. When I come back, I'm gonna have this little cutie on my head. But before I do, I wanna just check out, let's check out the part. And let's see how that is gonna look. Oh, that's nice, look at that. I don't know if y'all can see my thumb through there, but see it? That's a pretty realistic part. Um, Now, I'm going to get my other Lily Hair wig out that I have here, and I have her handy. She's just right here on the wig head, and I am going to compare the insides of these wigs. Hold on just a minute. Okay, so here is the difference in the mono top in my human hair wig from Lily Hair and this one that I've got that is a synthetic human hair blend. The mono top is just a little bit different. It feels... I mean, you can hear when I run my fingers across it, it's make, it makes a little bit of a noise, but I've gotta say, I actually believe this feels, as far as the feel of this, this actually feels better than this one to me for some reason, I don't know why. But we'll find out here in just a second because I'm getting ready to put this wig on my head. Now, this wig, when I put this wig in my hand versus this human hair wig, um, this wig is a lighter wig, just from the feel of it. It's not quite as heavy as this wig. Now, the interior of the wigs are very similar, but the weight of them, there's a difference. You can definitely, definitely tell this one is not as heavy a density wig as this one, which I like. So I've come to really appreciate lower density wigs uh, because simply because my head does not get it hot, get as hot. So let me put this on and I'll be right back. Okay, so here she is right out of the box. And I've gotta say, right out of the box, 
she pretty much looks exactly like the picture. The color is pretty much as described. All of that is, is exactly like what they said the wig was gonna look like. Now, having said that, let me, let me just tell you, this wig cap is a larger cap. This wig cap is, is big on me. I mean, I've got this much room here in the cap. And I have a small head circumference. My head circumference is about 21 inches and it's large back here. So if you have a larger head, this wig is going to, this wig will fit you. It, it surely will. So um, I could go in and do, you know, you know, take some of the, take some of the, the weight out of it right back in here. And I would absolutely have to do that, but that's not a big deal. I do that to a lot of my wigs. Most of my wigs are too big when I get them. So what I'm gonna do now is I am absolutely gonna go back here and I am going to mess with this wig just a little bit. Um, she's got box hair coming right out of the box and she needs a little bit of help. So I'm gonna get my steamer out and I'm gonna steam her just a little bit right down here on the sides to get her to lay down a little flatter and I'm gonna mess with the sides just a little bit because to be honest, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do with them. But I do love the bangs. I do love that right out of the box. I do love the way that these bangs look. I think she looks fairly realistic. Um, and right here, I mean, I've got on a wig grip and a wig, a wig cap, and that that hairline looks really pretty doggone good. I am trying to get used to that noise that makes when I run my hair through it. I've never, I've never heard that before. But I don't know that that would necessarily bother me. I'm sure over time it would probably, you know, get a little bit less. So let me just run my hands through her just a bit. Poof her up just a little bit. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so here she is after I've messed with her just a bit. I changed the part. I put the part on the other side because it seemed like after I got in here and started messing with her, it seemed like that the part just wanted to go... Um, this way because of the way the wefts and everything was. It looked better this way. So let me just give you the lowdown on this wig. Um, Lily hair wigs are not meant to be pulled out of the box and plopped on your head. They are not shake and go wigs. And this one certainly isn't either. Now something else, this is a larger wig cap. I have got plenty of room in this wig cap. That's something you need to know before you order the wig is this is a larger cap. So let me turn around, let y'all see this. Let me get back, let me let y'all see the back really good. I think the back of this is really pretty. I think this is a pretty wig. And you can tell when you look on Lily Hair's website and you take a look at the wigs, um, this is just, a, this This is the example of the, of the wig in another color. But that wig is meant to be styled. You're going to have to style the wig as you do with any human hair wig or human hair blend. You're going to have to cut it. You're going to have to customize it. You're going to need to do that because if you don't, you're going to have a wig that looks right like this when it comes out of the box. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just take this out from behind my ears and I'm gonna show you what it looks like, just like that. So there you go. Now, let me turn around with it like this. I really love this color too. And one thing I do like about Lily hair is the softness of their hair. Their hair, their hair fibers are soft and it's they feel realistic. Um, this is, with it being a human hair blend, you know, you're gonna feel the human hair. When you run your fingers through it, you're gonna be able to tell that there is, there's human hair in this because it feels like, it feels good. It feels like human hair. This one had a lot of box hair. I had to fix it. I had to do some stuff to it. But once I did, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. So let me mess with it a little bit more. I'll come back. Let me um, put a head wrap or something on with it. Just see what it looks like with some swag. Be right back. Okay, so here she is with, my little flamingo <laughs> headband on. This is my favorite headband that I have, and it's just because, you know, flamingos, I like them. But I really like the looks of this with a headband too, because it looks really good. I've got to say that both in color and 
feel and just everything about this wig. I believe this is my favorite Lily Hair wig that I've reviewed. I really believe that it is. And I think it's because of the synthetic fibers made it really a lot easier even though I had to mess with it some, and even though I had to do something, but the synthetic fibers to me made it much, much easier to style in human hair. So, um, you know, there's pros and cons of every, every wig type. There's pros and cons of human hair. There's pros and cons of synthetics. And there's pros and cons of blends. But for a, the price on this is pretty good. I think it's selling right now, let me look, $99 for certain colors of it, I believe. So, I mean, price point's good for what it is. And, you know, your hairdresser will really have an easy time styling this. Um, I would recommend thinning it out just a little bit. There's, even though this is a, not as heavy a wig as this one, um, I would recommend thinning it just a bit because she's still a little bit heavy for me. Okay, so here it is with the head wrap. I really like it with this too. I think it's cute. Let me turn around so y'all can see what I've done. And I've just basically taken a bandana and tied it around my head. I like it, I think she's cute. Okay, so let's look at the details. She is 70% human hair, 30% fiber. Medical grade PU and silicone strip are non-toxic, non-slip, non and hypoallergenic. So that is really good, should feel good on your head. Um, I'm not I'm not sensing any itching. I'm not getting any of that stuff here. This is a basic wig cap, breathable mesh, elastic mesh, velvet velveteen ear tabs, bendable wire, adjustable straps. Um, it doesn't say on the website whether or not this is heat sensitive, so I don't know if you could take a um, styling tool and heat it or not, I, d I don't know. I would contact the company about that. I wouldn't try it without contacting the company. Now, this, this the website says that they're pre-styled, and they are a little bit pre-styled, but they are not styled a great deal. I mean, they're styled to the point where they're not shapeless when they come out of there, but you are definitely going to have to do some styling to these wigs. And I've had to do that with, this is my third Lily Hair wig, and I've had to do that with every single one of them. So know that going in, you're gonna have to mess with it. But I really don't mind that because I like to mess around with my wigs and I like to change them up. And I do like the little jaggedy bangs. I love that. That is just cute. Now, if you like a more straight across bangs, you can certainly go in and nip that. I actually like them being jagged. I like that. I think they're cute like that. Um, this is this is a fun little wig. Listen, you guys, I hope you have a great day. Visit my website, Ninja Life Coaching, and when you get a chance, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to grow my channel, so if you wouldn't mind just sharing this on your social media, I would really appreciate it. Listen, guys, have a great day. God bless. Maranatha, folks.